One of the stars of uh, my Super Bowl-bound team, the uh, Seahawks wide receiver, Golden Tate, joining us on the show. How are you, Golden? I'm great. Thanks for having me, Dan. Uh, what if you're late for work today? What, what's Pete Carroll do to uh, you guys? Is fine or punish? Oh, uh, well, probably fine. I mean, but he's he's generous with it. I mean, in, unless you it's a repeated thing, he usually takes care of you. I mean, he understands that things, things happen, traffic, sometimes you just oversleep. Uh, so, I mean, usually he takes care of you. Uh, I haven't been late, so I don't, I don't really know. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I was curious about that. That uh, he seems like he's a fun guy, and like one of the one of the one of the guys. But what makes Pete really mad? Where you can see his temper? I'm um, just really <laughs> fumbling when you when you give up the ball. He, he gets really frustrated. But he's he's a positive reinforcer. Uh, he, there's not too many times he's going to yell at you and and curse you out. He's uh, he's always going to talk to you man to man. Uh, be positive, and you know, in this league, if you just don't get it done, they find someone else. I mean, it's that simple. So that might be part of the reason. But uh, you know, he's he's kind of a he's like a he's like a big old kid in, in a 62 year old body. <laughs> what position would he play if he could play? I would think quarterback because uh, every single day of practice, or, or receiver, every single day of practice. He comes out there with receiver gloves and chucks the ball probably 50, 60 yards <laughs> with, with some of our equipment guys and just plays catch. Sometimes you'll catch him in the huddle in the middle of practice now. <laughs> we'll be getting ready to call play. This is some serious stuff right now. We're getting ready for a big Sunday game here. But you'll, you'll have him out there just throwing ball around in, in the huddle, in the middle of the play. Sometimes they'll do the walkthrough. He'll be the walk, the walk through quarterback, so he's just all over the place, and it's, it's really fun to to, be, to see that. We're talking to Golden State uh, Seahawks wide receiver joining us, Dan Patrick Show. What happened first half against Tampa, where you look up and it's twenty-one nothing? Oh, it's a good question. We kind of just looked up and it was twenty twenty-one nothing. Um, some uh, key some key uh, turnovers kind of hurt us, and uh, that's one of the things that we think we. Uh, you know, it's, it's very, very important to us. And, uh, you know, the, the, the statistically, statistics show that when you're negative uh, in uh, the turnover ratio, the chance of you winning goes down a lot. We were lucky enough to come back from that uh, last week, obviously, but that's not the case usually. Uh, but we had some turnovers, some, some key turnovers uh, early on that kind of that they capitalize on and, you know, the next thing you know, we were we were down by 21. But uh, I will say this: uh, the team that we have, have, we have a lot of heart and a lot of confidence in ourselves. And we never really thought that we were out of that game or we we're going to lose that game. Uh, you know, we came in, uh, you know, came out, had some some key penalties go our way, scored. Uh, you know, some and then second half momentum changed and we started rolling. And our defense played phenomenal. They they held it down for us the second half and. That to show us kicking, kicking tail, uh, the second half. You apologized after the touchdown against the Rams uh, for taunting when you were uh, waving it in McLeod's face. What? Why did you apologize? Um, really, because uh, I misrepresented myself, uh, this organization, my family. Uh, you know, and I wasn't playing within the rules, I guess. So. Uh, you know, uh, but I, I put our team in a situation where, you know, against a great returner like the guy they had, that could have been bad. You know, them, you know, instead of us kicking out at the back of the end zone, we lost shards and had to kick it. You know, we kicked it to like their 10 or something, and they could have capitalized on that. Not That great play that I made could have been just bad. It, it could have ended really, really bad. So, uh, you know, just really being a team player, and I never want to put our, our team in situation, situations like that, and I never want to draw, you know, negative attention to us. So, uh, you know, just a lesson learned, something i got to be better at. Well, but it seemed like you had a personal battle with McLeod that you were making the gesture that he, is, he was doing a lot of yapping during the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, if you if you know me and in, in, in my head, it was nothing 
to be aggressive or, you know, really to taunt taunt anyone. Uh, You know, that whole game, you know, you guys know Cortland Finnegan's, uh, uh, you know, he likes to talk and he's aggressive. Uh, Janoris Jenkins the week before had just gotten into it with Steve Smith multiple times. So, uh, you know, it was kind of similar. It was similar to that. Uh, You know, things got heated. Uh, you know, it, it's a division game on, on primetime TV. You know, we're being men just competing. And, uh, you know, a great play was made, and I kind of let my emotions get to me right there in the moment for the 30 yards that I ran into the end zone and uh, was penalized. Do you ever wonder what your uh, baseball career would be like had you gone that route instead of football? Um, yeah. No, not really. Just because uh, my really my true passion is in football, and I feel like I can affect a team more so in a football field than a baseball field, especially with the style of play that I play with. Uh, and I honestly think I'd be miserable playing every other day, uh, <laughs> living living every other day in a hotel on a bus. Uh, I, I don't think I'd really like that too much. So I'm I'm perfectly fine with the. Six, 16 game regular season, a four preseason game, and and the playoffs. So I, I like it just just the way it is. But even you look at the Giants when they won the World Series and you got drafted by them in 2010, you don't say, yeah, maybe I have a World Series ring. Yeah, uh, you know, obviously that's a thought. I mean, obviously <laughs> that that year I was like, dang, I should have won baseball just kidding around. <laughs> but uh, you know. I, I, my, I just my, my passions with football. I, I'd rather be, you know, happy doing doing what I love. Um, you know, obviously, I mean, for, my first love was baseball, but once I started playing football and and got older into high school and and college, I realized football was my sport and it was more suiting for me because in baseball, you, you know, you you get to bat every nine batters. Uh, you know, you maybe maybe every five games you make a great diving catch or to catch it over the fence or something like that. But you know, in, in football, all throughout the game, I feel like I can uh, I can affect the game I, in a positive way. I can make a game changing play, uh, and so that for me, I just felt like football was where I need to be, and my my father played it. Well, good luck, uh, great season so far. Keep the taunting down, all right? I'll I'll do my best. All right. Uh, Good to visit with you, Golden. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Dan. All right. Golden Tate. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.